Our assigned schedule is four, and this is the first of the four that uh, we will uh, try to present to you today in our boxing schedule, Carlo. Carlo Peñalosa versus Jemsi Kibazange of Tanzania. It will be the Philippines versus Tanzania. So I think matchups here today as we send it over to Noel Zarate. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now live on ESPN5, and our fight today is brought to us by ESPN5. Jerry Penn's promotion and Smart Giga Surf 99 now comes with free one hour YouTube every day. Text Giga 99 to 9999 now. Let's bring in our fighters to contend for the vacant WBA Asia South Flyweight Championship. Let's bring it first from the blue corner from Tanzania, Jamsi Kimazunke. Okay, the uh, fighter from Tanzania, Jemsi Kimbatanke. And uh, they had a translator in that feature that we saw earlier. And uh, they're hopeful they can go home with, with the wins. But they uh, acknowledge the advantage of the Philippines in their boxing. In terms of wins, but they got it from Carlo Menonosa against Kimbatanke. Only weighing in at 109 pounds in our official weigh-in yesterday. Let's see how he can overcome that size difference. And now his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Too short, Carlo Peñalosa. Carlo Peñalosa, the slightest between the two. Peñalosa seeing action here today. Magaling magpatama, magaling kumiwas. Let's see if he can overcome the challenge of this hungry fighter coming from Tanzania. Uh, in our audience earlier, I just saw Ponyo Pilasco. I said, we go. Ano pinapasok ang bata dito sa mga? Ano pinapasok ang bata dito sa mga? Ano pinapasok ang bata dito sa mga? Take a look at the fight card and how they tell the tape again. Mas matangkad. Ito si Carlo Peñalosa. But actually, mas makama yung galamay. Ito si Kiba Zange. Both with good records. 12-1 for Peñalosa. 15-2 for Kiba Zange. But, isa lang ang mga ito is the defense. This is our supporting main event. 10 rounds of boxing and the flyweight division for the vacant WBA Asia South Flyweight Championship. Our supervisor for this bout, Rafael Diongo. And let's meet our judges, Ferdinand Estrella, Carlos Costa, and Virgilio Garcia. And the third man in the ring, when the bell rings, our referee, Silvestre Abainza. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 109 pounds, wearing the blue trunks, trimmed in red. His professional record, 15 wins, one win, via knockout, with two losses and two draws. From Dar es Salaam, in Tanzania, Jimsy Kamizunge! Officially weighing in at 112 pounds. His professional record, 12 victories, including five wins via knockout with just one lone defeat. From Cebu, too short, Carlo Pinalosa! Our three is Pinalosa. Listen to me, or be my command at all times, and protect yourself. The clear? Okay. The club? <laughs> the, the very colorful and interesting Vera Baiza, who is a man of many passions and interests. May mga hats yan na nakakatawa. May mga collection ng hats na lagi niyang kinikwento sa akin. Alam mo, when you're as close as you have been, uh, you and I in boxing, you get to know these referees. And we are underway with this fight. Uh, what can we expect as this program is brought to you by TNT Master Break. Mag YouTube Break with TNT. Southpaw versus Orthodox fighter Kaliwete. Itong si Too Sharp. 
Carlo Peñalosa. So, footwork very important in these kinds of matchups. Titingnan yung lagi kung sino yung nasa outside. Sino yung outside. Kanino outside foot yung nakaharap. Kasi eh, yun yung magdidikta kung sa mangyayari yung labanan. Looks very confident itong uh, fighter natin from Tanzania, Kim Bazang. Eh? And uh, they express their confidence uh, even during the way in Pero Timo sa Porma, no? Kita mong uh, plakado na yung Peñalosa. Siyempre, with uh, Dodi Boy, Jerry, and the other Peñalosa brothers, very much around. How can you not be better? A couple of stylists here. Only five knockouts and 12 wins para kay Peñalosa. Only one knockout for his opponent, Kibazange. So we expect uh, this fight to start a little slower. Ano ba? Kasi ay magsusukatan muna itong dalawa. Uh -huh. So anong schedule natin? Ten rounds tayo, no? Oh, you good counter combination that time by Peñalosa. So, ito kasi si Kibazangi is lunging in, no? So tinatimingan siya ni Peñalosa every time na mawalan siya ng balance eh, kaka-atake. Doon dumuibitaw ng combinations. Now I feel old, Carl. I... I thought I'd never do another Peñalosa fight in my <laughs> life. And Jerry retiring, and here come the Peñalosa nephews. And pag inabot ang grandson ayon. Well, it's in the blood, so oh, it, it, well, well, it, it will just happen. Oh, environment. Do parang in sports ano parang sunod-sunod uh, ang uh, linya. DNA ne. Uh, oh, maltik ng maupisahan ang ratchada ni uh, Carlo Peñalosa. Isa pang madalas mangyari when southpaws mean orthodox fighters eh, nagkakatapakan. So, dapat mag-ingat din itong dalawang fighters also against headbutts. Medyo wari yung kagandaan sa niya. Pwede siyang tamahan. Di ba naman yung depensa niya? As uh, Kipasangke tries that looping left. And the other gloves actually of Peñalosa by punching damage there as we get to the last 30 Five seconds of the opening round scheduled. Mas masipag ang umpisa ni Peñalosa here in this matchup. Nagtatagyan, sabi mo, acquaintance party in the first round. 20 seconds to go. Kasi gusto mo mapanood yung kalaban mo. You want to see where his punches will come from so you can adjust your game plan accordingly. And that is what they've done here in the first round couple of minutes of this match. Yes, we did. As we go into the final 10 seconds, we heard the clapper. And in just a short while, this first round will join boxing history. Back with us here at the uh, SM North Sky Dome venue for our Peñalosa against the world boxing promotion here. How did you evaluate the first round? Mas maganda yung simula nito si Carlo Peñalosa. Yun, when he overextends himself, talking about Kibazangi, dun pumapasok. At hindi lang pa isa-isa ang counter. Itong si Carlo, he unleashes two, three, even four punch combinations as a counter. So we scored the first round for him. Glad you could join us here in, in, uh, at the Sky Dome. Seps are met alongside Carlo Pumintuan, trying to keep the fighters scoring. Oh! Weekend as Kibazange backpedaled there. He's thrown off his uh, form in that flurry of punches coming from Carlo uh, Peñalosa. Sumo by the other ball singing that. Kita mo iskwalado na yung Peñalosa. Kita mo formado na. Nag-aaral pa lang ng boxing yung nagandang uh, sa kanya. Siyempre, trying to get exposed. Pero matapang, ha? Matapang! Makamay, sabi nga nila oh, sa boxing. Matapang! Maarangkada sa... Uh, sa pinala sa tago na ako dito. Pero lahat karamihan na suntok sa... Gloves. Sa sipot, sa gloves naman na ako dito. Matapang! Siyempre, siya yung bisita. Siya lulusog. Atake! Mga kapapayan! Alam niya, the only way to win this fight is for him to really hit connect with a lot of punches. Kailangan niya ng activity. Kailangan niya ng matakas ng work rate to 
be able to score a win here in the Philippines. And you're also trying to be a counter puncher at this point since uh, his opponent is interested in being very active as far as the goal point to go. Time is now to the 37 here in round of two. And you're also looking for some opening downstairs. Shifts uh, his attention to the top. And finding the mark, and he goes to the body. Oh, so claro, 10 8 yung round na yun kanina, partner. Claro, claro. We could not have scored it any other way as Peñalosa dominated that round. Mukhang no, masama talaga yung fit ng mouthpiece nitong si Kibazaki. Kasi first round nilul... pa lang. At saka niluluwa niya. Na, niya. Uh, parang hindi siya sanay na meron. Pero hindi pwede lumaban ng wala. Ano, ano. Alam ko si Dr. Ed sa Amerika. Kasi gusto ko ba siya na? hindi siya makahinga ng maayos that is, that that is uh, even a more astute and an accurate observation but he has punches he's hoping he can land a big one and uh, stun Peñalosa susunto ko si Kipasangke pero oh pag tinaman sa bodega to the club and they Peñalosa's apparently no but Kipasangke beginning to crowd what an action there what an action coming from Kipasangke the country did not send me here just to light up. Si Kuro sabi niya. Peña Losa trying to use that jab. Goes downstairs. Minute and 40 left in the third. Ganda ng suntok ni Peña Losa. He looks like he's trying to throw a jab. That's why he's trying to throw a jab. That's why he's trying to throw a short right hook. He's trying to throw a jab. That's why he's trying to throw a jab. Basketball player, shoot me for it. Oh, nah, hirap sa mga kipisi, kipisi, kipasangin. Parang tinuluan niya, nilalabas, at na hirap siyang kumingan. Nice attack, soft gloves of Peñalosa. Hirap tamaan, 
to go and a moment to reflect on how life is so difficult to come that way. And uh, since uh, this was a championship, the vacant WBA South Flyweight Championship is now occupied by the very young Carlo Peñalosa. And he will make that presentation. The uh, official was called to be able to make that presentation. Happen uh, in the center of the ring, most likely. But I'm not here, I'm not here. Stunning but well crafted win by Carlo Peñalosa. In just a while, we will await for the official announcement of uh, the time it ended. And our colleague, uh, Noel Zarate, who looks dapper in uh, that suit of his, will be making this announcement. So the uh, first of four battles uh, has been completed in very short fashion. Ladies and gentlemen, the belt comes to an end in a time of two minutes and 55 seconds in the third round. Your winner and you, WBA South Asia South Flyweight Champion, Carlo Tussar Pinalosa. Awarding the belt is Congressman Gus Tamanding of the Second District of Panayake. Here we also once again, ladies and gentlemen, for his opponent from Tanzania, Jemzi Kibazange. The very good Kibazange acknowledging the crown. And we'll take a short break, and we have now just crowned Carlo Peñalosa as the WBA Asia South Flyweight Champion.
We are here with your new WBA Asia South Flyweight Champion, Carlo Peñalosa. Carlo, kwentuhan mo naman kami. Yung record ng yung kalaban, mababa yung kanyang knockout percentage. Kaya ba kumpiansa ka na mainit yung umpisa mo dito sa laban na to? Um, early rounds, uh, una sa lahat, uh, thank you sa lahat ng manonood, sa pagsuporta sa puta ito sa Skydome. Maraming salamat sa inyo lahat. Sa angkil ko, sa nag-promote, Jerry Peñalosa, maraming salamat sa, sa mga tiyohin ko. Saka especially SPN. Uh, regarding doon sa tanong, um, first round, uh, tinatansya ako kung, kung ano ba talaga style niya. Well, parang di na ko na-suppress kasi tinitingnan ko sa YouTube yung fight niya. As nakita ko na hindi siya, although hindi siya power puncher, pero volume puncher siya, which pinakita din niya kayo na. Pero nung pag second round, parang in, imbis na tumaas yung confidence niya, parang nakita ko yung butas at siya niya, parang pag tama ko ng isa, kasaktan siya, parang wala siyang ganang sumuntok yun, parang tumaas yung confidence ko, saka nung third, uh, third round na uh, kuha ko yung tikyo. Nung after the first knockdown, nasaktan mo siya sa katawan, unti-unti bumaba yung depensa niya, yun ba yung nakita mong opening para sa ulo naman siya patamaan? Oo, oh, um, pag, pag, tapos niya, pag tumayo niya, damura siya nag-focus sa sa depensa sa katawan niya. Hindi na niya masyadong inaano yung mukha niya. Kaya nakita ko yung pag-counter ko, ginawa ko, una sa chan papunta sa taas. Sa... Second reign mo bilang regional champion, ano ang susunod para kay Carlo Peñalosa? Uh, gusto ko lumaban sa mga top 10 uh, flyweight para, para mapasok ko sa world ranking. Tsaka uh, balang araw makalaban ako ng world title. Ulipo, congratulations. Give it up for your new WBA South Asian champion, Carlo Peñalosa.